Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to set up a local server using a XAMPP. Okay, first of all, if you have the XAMPP set up with you, you can directly download it. And directly you can install it. But uh, before that, uh, this video is for beginners, means who don't know the coding and all. So for them, we are going to uh, have this. So we'll start with the downloading XAMPP. And main main tools we are required are one uh, editor. Okay, code editor and uh, the XAMPP server. So here we'll start with the downloading XAMPP. Okay, yeah, I'm going to select XAMPP, XAMPP download 7.2 version. Okay, that uh, previously I was working on that uh, version only. So I will use this one only. And one more thing, VS Code Editor. These two uh, tools are important to download. Means here you in, in XAMPP you will be getting a Apache server as well as a MySQL uh, PHP MyAdmin you will be getting. Okay, Apache server is used to uh, deploy the application locally, and develop and test it. So I'll download VS Code as well. Download XAMPP 7.2. will go to directly download center but here we'll be getting 8 version which is not required for me okay I will select more downloads Here we'll get all the versions developed. Just we have to select the proper version. You can go with the latest one version also, no issue. So I'll pause the video until it downloads. Before that, uh, we'll we have to download a VS Code also. So let's keep it for download, and I'll pause the video. Okay, here we have to choose the OS operating system: Linux, Mac, Windows. I'm going to use. So being started. XAMPP started downloading let VS code also downloads ok 
okay one more point i want to i, I want to share that in uh, next videos i am going to share regarding vs code some plugins important plugins are there which we can use to make uh, the faster work so don't miss those videos so subscribe to my channel and p press the bell icon so that you should not uh, miss those videos amazing videos i'm going to upload in upcoming videos so i'll pause this video so here it is downloaded i have cancelled this zamp download and uh, restarted the download because it was uh, downloading very slow so now the thing is that i will install uh, vs code first so one thing that uh, where i need to pause the video there i'm going to pause the video so that i should not uh, uh, increase the length of video unnecessarily to get the watch hours but the thing is that wherever I'm going to do the mistakes, I'm not going to skip them. Okay, I will keep them because the same mistake it will help you to. You should not means you will not repeat the same mistake if I did anything wrong. Okay, so VS Code I will install first. If you don't want to create the start menu folder, you can skip this and uh, create the desktop icon it is not necessary for me and this is the important part where uh, like uh, if you want to open any folder through vs code okay if you want to open any folder through vs code that you can do like uh, if you right click and check here open with vs code it will not come many people s do the same mistake that they will not select these things so it is the because of that they will not be able to means every time you have to go to vs code and open the folder you have to click okay it will create one shortcut in that menu to open the folder directly through the vs code okay parallelly we can install the zamp so now i will uh, pause the video this one okay this this is the zamp installation warning it will give one a warning we can neglect that no issue but uh, other things you don't need to touch anything as it is you can install this is the main folder where the zamp is installed you can change it if we if you want to install it in any other folder and this is the language if it belongs to any other language you can select the language it is taking a bit time so I will pause the video recording here it asks for the network access okay local network and private network you just need to select allow access so step by step we will follow this here it is done okay here now i will uh, start the control panel okay to deploy to test it uh, to deploy it one one small one page will create that is called uh, First, we'll open this XAMPP folder. Okay, here we'll find htdoc. This is the main root folder. This is for a PHP my admin everything dashboard is here, but uh, we are keeping it intact. One more folder will create that my my project. My project. Okay this I'm going to open with the VS code here you can see now open with VS code shortcut came in this uh, list so as I told while installing we have to select those options to get this option enabled now we'll enable this start Apache server and MySQL MySQL is for if you, you just need to turn on 
only if you are dealing with a MySQL like a database and all and Apache server is to uh, test the things for uh, the deployment means we can test through localhost okay so just trust and one project file will create over here new file index dot HTML okay, still it is asking for some permissions example okay, we have allowed it well, let's create one project file that is index dot html here we'll add one okay this is my document my first project my first project title here description here a okay, simple file I have created here now how to test this one we have got one live server plugin okay for this plugin I will create one more video lots of plugins are there and let's start with this basic here local host host php my admin is for the mysql panel okay until it opens i will create a local host my project so this is my first project title here description here and here you can see my first project title is it got and here it is opening a mysql dashboard here you can create the database in link with the project and work on those things okay friends uh, this is up to this and uh, in uh, share and like don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon because uh, uh, in future video I'm going to share some amazing videos so that it will definitely help you out to develop your uh, knowledge and uh, you will be able to develop your projects and all okay and uh, share who all need this video and uh, thank you for watching my videos see you in next video